yeah she's ro she is rolling she is rolling it guys i'm taking a picture like look at that are you serious <laughs> So I know that The Sims 4 is not a cooking simulator, but I so badly wish that it was because I love cooking. I love cooking. I don't know why. I love seeing my Sims cook. I love the whole aspect of it. I'm like one of those, I was one of those people that, look at this, cooking is delectable. Yeah, she loves cooking, just like me. I mean, the signs are there. You know what I'm saying? I played Diner Dash when I was little. I just love cooking games. If you're like me, you want cooking to be like an immersive experience and you're like sick and tired of the same recipes that The Sims 4 has to offer and you're just looking for more, but you're also kind of scared to download a whole bunch of complicated mods to do so. So I, I have the solution for you, okay? Today, I'm gonna show you guys a mod that I just fell in love with. It is the custom food mod recipe by Oni and I absolutely love it so much. It is so easy to use. As you can see, my Sim here just made some Ami rice so before we jump into Oni's custom food recipe mod, I do want to give a special shout out um, to a custom food recipe mod that I was using prior to installing this one, which was Granny's Cookbook. I actually did a overview on this mod as well. It works the same exact way with the object that you obtain from build mode, and you basically can make all of the recipes that you choose to download. This doesn't just come full of recipes. Like You can literally place in all the recipes that you want, um, and it just works the same but i've been using this for like a really long time and if you want to know more about it then i'll link it at the end and also in the description so while granny's cookbook actually uses the cookbook to obtain all the recipes for oni's custom food mod you will actually be using the grocery bag so the object will be located in the kitchen appliances section of build mode and you can go ahead and choose from four different swatches and they're pretty cute swatches like you know nice little pink little plaid we got going on here i think that's super cute um but yeah i kind of went with the boring brown one but let's change it up a little bit now that i think about it wow isn't it so cute that she just ate her omni rice and she still has a gravy kind of like right there in the plate that's so cute and similar to the granny's old cookbook mod you are going to also just go ahead head over to the grocery bag I click on that hit cook and all of your recipes are neatly organized here okay so for instance i downloaded some lunch uh things like bento boxes and spam musubi uh let's do a let's do um tutorial bento let's just do that let's just let's do that let's do a single serving of that really quick just so that we can see how these dishes are made and here she is making it and just to add not all of your recipes will show up because i was freaking out when i opened this up and i opened up a new save and i didn't see all of my recipes well your food goes by your skill so i maxed out all of her skills so unless you actually have that skill level it won't show up in the recipe descriptions though it shows like what skill level you need so if you just want to cheat your sim up or you know just do it naturally it's cool don't think that you did anything wrong if your if your recipes don't show up it's just that your sim actually has to meet the skill level and then it'll pop up and look at our vinto box wow <laughs> This looks so cute. <laughs> this is adorable. I just love the quality of this. It's just so nice. One thing I love about Oni's Food Mod and Grain's Cookbook is that they kind of provide two totally different meals and just options and choices. So I have to keep them both in. Um, and I definitely think it's worth mentioning that with the um, with Oni's Food Mod, this is actually now compatible with the Cottage Living Simple Living Lot Challenge. So for instance, for desserts, I have strawberry sandwiches here, and as you can see it says i need like strawberry sugar bottle of milk any bread so ingredients are completely optional you don't have to download them i'm actually not a fan of having ingredients or the simple uh living lot ch challenge because it is pretty hard and i'm just not used to that kind of challenge in the sims so i just like skip all of that and i just like having options for them to cook but if you are someone that wants these ingredients just to either make with or without that challenge or whatever the case may be it is um in a recent update updated for that if you are someone that wants to include ingredients in your gameplay only actually provides like kind of like ways to get those ingredients if you have to go through the uh, seriously cooking overhaul mod i believe to get certain ingredients and stuff um for instance like rice and stuff some of the recipes require rice and the sims doesn't have rice <laughs> which i don't know why because like rice is alive there are also custom drinks um my sim actually made some bubble uh, milk tea not too long ago taro flavored which is like my favorite flavor so i thought that was cool because she'll just grab it out of the refrigerator and it'll already be made 
made and there you go she's drinking bubble tea and it's just awesome one thing that's also like my favorite thing about this is the presentation for some of this stuff like let's just make the strawberry sandwiches and let's just make a bunch of food and like line it up all together how about we also make some gimbap and let's do you want to do single serving let's do family size let's just go all out act like we have a party <laughs> like we have a party with the serve people some food um so right now she is making strawberry sandwiches so she's cutting up the bread which is so realistic like i just I live for it. I love mods that are like so easy to use. I'm just not someone that's a fan of mods where I have to like download something else and then get something else for this thing to work because then I like get confused. Um, but look at the presentation. Like it smacks this match and it just looks so good. Like, oops, I did not mean to put that on the floor. That, see, that's why you don't eat at everyone's house. <laughs> you just put the sandwiches on the floor. I'm just kidding. Okay, so now she's making the gimbab and look at, just look at her process of her cooking this right now. Like she's cutting up things and it just looks really realistic and so while she does that i do want to point out this fridge that oni also made and it comes with like some cottage uh like style counters and stuff like that too and a matching uh, stove as well and i just really love it i love um the style of refrigerator it just looks really simple and super cute but look at this look at her process like this is insane she's like really cooking i love this and boom what's next yeah she's ro she is rolling she is rolling it guys i'm taking a picture like look at that are you serious i'm just as shocked as you are because this is my first time making this particular recipe with my sim so i love that she's actually rolling it it looks so effortless it's so seamless like we love mods that don't really look like mods they look like they're part of the game this is this is it i love it these two mods here granny's cookbook and oni's uh custom food recipe mods they're the best oh when it's a single serving it looks so cool <laughs> it's like all cut up oh man that is just I love this mod so much. Honestly, I just like showing you guys mods that I actually plan on keeping and saving in game. I test out things before I show you because I don't want you to have anything like wonky or messed up in the game. And I tested this out before I filmed this video. And for what it's worth, I haven't had any problems so far, even while filming this. So I'm just super duper happy. You gotta feel the happiness through the through the uh, mic right now because I'm just super happy. What else can we make? And I and honestly i love that these are with objects i feel like if the recipes were in the cooking um, options i would not click on them and i'd forget so i love that these creators have created objects that i can slap in game i can also choose the recipes i like and then boom get it that way i just love that so so much and at the end of this video i'm going to show you how i neatly organize my recipes because it can get crazy my friend let me tell you because all these recipes i put in my game i search the creator entire tumblr for these recipes um and look she's making spam musubi my kid loves spam musubi i know spam is like not the healthiest thing in the world but it's kind of like a guilty pleasure over here okay um but i just love this spam musubi it is lactose free with it mentioning that's lactose free that's also um an update that the creator did because of the whole cottage living thing with the you know lactose intolerance so oh my gosh where's the Where's my spam be? Oh, it'll pop up after she's done cleaning. I'm sure. Please do. Please do. <laughs> I'm about to say, girl, where's the spam be? Don't do this. And then just heading back over to Granny's Cookbook. I did do a review on that, but if you don't feel like checking it out and you're just sold and you just want to download it, just a FYI, here are some of the meals that you can expect. Like I have some mac and cheese and fried chicken, some pizza, I have lasagna, stuffed peppers. Like it's just really cool. Like I have so much selection for my Sims to make. And just a FYI, everything that I'm showing you today is free. Everything that I personally downloaded is free. There are a couple um, recipes on Oni's website that haven't been released yet. Uh, but the great thing is, is that they also show like when it'll be released for the public. Now I'm gonna show you guys my mods folder just so that you can keep these foods organized and just show you how I do things. So you wanna go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and in your mods folder. I have all of my game mods neatly organized right here as you can see i have granny's cookbook and then i also have oni's food so i like to do this just so that i can keep them separate if i have to change anything and update so heading over to oni's food really quick you can do this the easy way first of all you definitely want to make sure that you have the base of this mod the recipe pack the custom food mod and the most recent version of it which the creator already states in the main post and you can honestly just choose to just make a another subfolder which i only go like one subfolder deep in my mods folder i never put another folder in 
another folder if that makes sense and i just placed everything here because i don't have a lot of recipes by them but i just have some of the things that i really like by them and so you know you can just do it the easy way where you just label it foods the reason why I do this is because this is this will probably be the main mod that gets updated and so I can just easily delete and replace it with the updated version. Heading over to Granny's cookbook, it's a little bit different. Um, anything that Little Bo Bob has actually made, I place in here. Um, so here is the actual base mod for the Granny's cookbook, the most recent version of it. And then instead of just labeling it foods, I have everything separated by my breakfast, desserts, meals, and snacks. So, you know, for different toddler foods, I have all of that separated for desserts. I have all the desserts in there. And then again, for breakfast and stuff like that. Oops, and I guess I have two smiley face pancakes. <laughs> the reason why this one is so meticulously uh, made is because um, I have a lot of meals by them and uh, breakfast items. So I just want to keep everything separated just in case I had to delete anything. But again, it's totally, totally up to you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Peace out.